Today we are in eastern France exploring a 15th century castle located in a small village. The locals now want the French state to seize the property so it can be sold to someone else who would actually care for it and save it. And that is what we know of Chateau Secret. But what I do know about this place is that it was originally owned by a man named Robert who then in 1789 have passed the house down to one of France's oldest surviving blue-blooded families after a descendant of Robert married someone who was a senior general in King Louis's army. Now after they died, it was then inherited to their firstborn named Louis Henry, who then passed it on to their eldest son named Armand in 1868. And at that point, he decided to extend the castle to make it bigger. Here is where things get super interesting and actually, to me, mind blowing. So a Norwegian guy who was a famous jewel seller in Oslo bought the mansion. He was a first class passenger on the Titanic ship. He was also occupied by his daughter, Helena. Now what happened was he ended up dying from the sinking of the ship in April 15, 1912. But Helena survived by boarding one of the lifeboats. Fast forwarding to 2022. At this point forward, we know nothing about the castle and what they did to it or anything, except a winemaker bought the place but died in 2003. So since 2003, this place has been abandoned ever since, but it was bought by an Indonesia couple in 2016, but they've been not taking care of the property, they never lived in it, and they're not paying any of their taxes. Though the property is owned, but it's not being taken care of or lived in, the locals decided to create an association on December of 2020 to try to save the chateau, which is decaying rapidly. You definitely don't want to exit out of this video, guys. We are doing probably the most coolest abandoned looking castle. This place actually looks like Harry Potter. It looks like Hogwarts and we are going in. This place is fully furnished. It has everything inside, even a library with books, which has been some of, some of my favorite things to ever see. And there's a lot more. We'll get into it if we can even get there. We are in the woods hiking like always, the rainforest. It's a jungle out here. Whoa, that's oh, sick. That's, the head yeah, that's, Mary's that's, that's St. Mary right there. Look at that. This place, think about it back in its day. Driving through this to get to the Hogwarts castle. That's what I'm nicknaming it. But can you imagine just coming through here? Whoa. What's down there? Oh, this is awesome though, look at that. Dang, they are. There's a whole swing set right here. <laughs> Just growing. I almost didn't even notice it at first. So overgrown. But explorers, I, I'm truly serious about this. This place is like a true fairy tale. You can only find a place like this here in France. I can see a tower right here. Watch when you get to the big reveal. My God. This place is crazy, dude. What the hell? This is my first time seeing it too. This is massive. It's in the middle of nowhere, just on this beautiful farmland. Yeah. Wow, my God, bro. Yeah, just coming in with your horse and car is exactly right. Jeez. Look at this. Walking through the tower, coming up to this, loving the red and like tan colors. If I actually get inside here, my goal is to definitely go on top of the towers and just look out. This place had a, you know, most mansions had a farm on it. Had horses, chickens, had everything. <laughs> just how it was. explorers, a lot of different people started to find out about this place and they all rushed here in the summer. Um, and then that's how you can see this graffiti right there because it happened in 2020. As far as I know, the last thing I heard was that when the last person who owned it was uh, making dresses out of this place and they have a lot of sewing machines lined up and the workers were coming here and work. And that's all we know. 
we gotta explore this place because this place is crazy. This is like the Hogwarts, man. This is it. This is Harry Potter. So we are starting off in the main hall. You would walk through here, be an open and great greeted by the main lobby. It is great in here. And look at, look what's up. The France flag. Look it up. Look at that. You can look down. It's like a circular way. You can just look down here. I'm going to explore this place hard. This place, I'm already excited to be here. Don't even get me wrong. It's just unbelievable. Already, this is just freaky. An old doll missing an eye inside the kid's baby carriage. Assuming it was for toys and not a real one. And then just look at the, the wood carvings, all handmade. Costs a lot of money for this stuff. This is the real deal. I'd love to have this in my house. Look at that. That's great, that's amazing for sure. But this, it's a very old school style here, what we're looking at. It's, it's massive in person, I'm telling you, it is massive here. You know, back in the day before the vandalism happened, I'm not sure in 2020 if there was a painting here, but it would have been the family portrait or some sort right there, boom, greeting you in the house. Oh, by the way, guys, I did not mention this when I was doing my intro. This is a Renaissance style chateau, by the way. All right, we're gonna take a right and start here first. Again, I don't know what we're gonna find. I did not see any photos on this place online. Uh, here's the living room. Again, you're greeted by this piano. It's everything here is actually pretty much frozen in time for the most part, though. It's crazy. That's a Dave over there, by the way. Seth and Dan are in the car. I think they might pop in later. We'll find out if they make it in this video or not. We will see. What is going on here? <laughs> it's the Bush woman. <laughs> and look at this, the gold couches. But what I really love when I go to mansions is the taxidermy that are still on the walls. I don't see much of this in the US, kind of like in mansions at all, at all. So it's really cool when I see it here. You know, one could only dream of owning a place like this, that's for sure. When you own this, you really didn't make it. You got the angels above the doorway, and if you even look at this door, look at this door. For example, this is a full door, right? Full, thick, solid door, and it's curved. It's a curved door that blends in the wall. That's insane. What is that, Dave? scares me, man. <laughs> Dude, that's twice this guy scared me in the France trip. Dude, I heard the knock, and I swear to God, if I didn't see you, I was going to say this place is haunted hardcore. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even that scared, because I'm like, okay, this might be a ghost here, but I was, like, kind of scared, but then you, your face popped up, bro. Are you ready? Well, this is a secret doorway we just went through. I literally just popped out a secret doorway. Have you been through here? No. Whoa, this is under the stairs? The hell? That's the family portrait right there. So there's light and you still hide these things. Don't hide them, they're just hidden away. Holy crap. Whoa. Can you spot the yellow duck? The yellow duck? So the... I'm, I'm not going to say where it is, guys. I want you to watch and analyze this clip of this video. I'm trying to see where the yellow duck is. <laughs> I mean, I kind of, for me, I, t I pointed right at it and zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, I did see it. Dang. This place is crazy. Explorers, check out this. The stained glass windows. They're intact. Hundreds of years and it's intact stained windows. Yeah, that's um, for confessions. So when you cause a sin. You know what's weird though? They have it in their own just house for their family though. That's kind of weird, confessing to your own. I don't know, it could have just man, unless there is a priest that comes through. I just find that a little odd. Yeah. But I will say that when you're that rich and you can put a whole church inside of here, that's wild for your family. I feel like I'm in, yeah. I'm in Tomb Raider. This is behind the staircase in the main lobby. I don't know if that's a family crest or not, but regardless of whatever it is, it's just all like trimmed, painted. 
with amazing colors. There's even like a little tower castle right there in the center. And look at the door. Just a door to get out of here. It's like some red velvet. Oh, that's the way out. <laughs> Back in the center. Moving along into their dining hall, check out this. The glass plates, teapots, everything is still set up. What I love about this place is actually the wallpaper. Well, not even, it's not even wallpaper, it's like a cloth, like a rug for walls, but it's, it was blue. And there used to be a painting right up there, and that's why when they took it off, it looks super blue right there compared to the rest as the rest faded. Or it's just full of so much dust, I'm not exactly sure. But the colors match the couch. So they went with this design and it, and it actually came out really good. The blue and gold, I'm digging it. But everything here is beautiful. This is a very beautiful mansion. Is this a fireplace? No. Looks like we're in the tower section. Yeah, see above us, this is the towers that stick out, the Renaissance style towers. But even the furniture here, it's all like curved to match the tower look, the formation of it. I don't know, what's, where is this bringing us? Oh, got the lime green. A little piano that's blocking the fireplace. A typewriter always. Yo, editor, play the typewriter song, The Safe Room from Resident Evil. Bunch of books on the shelves. I know there's a library, but I don't know where it is, and that's something we have to look for. Okay. This might end up being into the servants' quarters, I'm not sure. I'll take it, but I want to go through the other side first before we go upstairs. Alright, let's move back. Whoa. Whoa, I just got like zoomed in here. Let's see what's in here. Is it for the servants? To cook the food? Dang. Yo, this is like proper old school. The vibes in here are, co are amazing. Look at the butcher, the butcher knife. It's just stabbed right on the table. Like they were just freshly cooking like not that long ago. The pots, the pans are on the walls. I like this room. An old grandfather clock, a mini one. Dang, more vandalism. That is definitely not good. Not in Chateau. You haven't, you don't really see vandalism in Chateaus right now, but this one has it. It's because it attracted way more people that weren't urban explorers, well, the real ones. Once, the thing is, is the thing is, is once the word gets out, it's kind of hard to keep the vandalism down. In one of the articles I read about this place, they were saying how a lot of people that were like younger generations were coming here and they're like, yeah, we're urban explorers. We, we, we just love the history and we're documenting this place and we think it's amazing. Uh, and then someone that was like volunteering to try to keep this place alive was like, yeah, like this is great. You're in a good step of direction, but you need mentoring. You need lessons to understand what you're going through and what you're doing. How can you save the place just by kind of showing it off? And that was one of the articles I read. And I thought it was pretty interesting. It kind of makes a good point. All right, I want to say we explored the whole first floor but I'm not certain yet. So I want to re-go back in here and retrace my steps because I actually got scared by Dave in the secret room kind of over there. Well, the door's broken right here. Oh wait, no, there's not even a door here. <laughs> They're just like stuffing chairs in here. Oh, this is cool. Really old books. I mean, really old books. Kind of like falling apart. I just like the crates that they're in. Like, I don't know, I think it's cool. Over here they would have some sort of statue or some sort. A piece, and this is what's left of it apparently. Well, there is a face here though. Something was standing. It's kind of cool like this. 
If all y'all are wondering why is this place not kept up or why haven't they actually tried to fix it yet? That's just because it's the owner. The owner has to put in the effort and the time to hire security or hire people to fix it up, not just the city. The city's not gonna give this place money to fix it up. It's not their problem. I think we're now gonna head upstairs. I think we covered the first floor. I mean, we are always missing stuff, that's for sure. These things are so massive and the rooms are so big, but at the same time, you look and you go through the rooms, but because they're so big, you think there's so much more. You think there's more, but there's not. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> One thing I want to remind you guys is, remember, this was our first originated in the 15th century. We are walking the halls of people that lived around here for generations and generations. What the heck? No way. It's a Furby. Y'all know what a Furby is? Oh, there's two Furbies. Oh, man. So here's the thing. Back when I was super young and these came out at KB Toys in the United States, these were everywhere. These were super famous. They would sell out. You would have to wait in line and try to get one in like, just, it would be fighting for one. And they have them here. Now, you can probably just get one on eBay, but they used to do a lot of cool stuff. But we gotta appreciate this. Look how cool this looks. You can even go down, you see the French flag? It's kind of scary though, it looks like it might break. Look at that. Whoa, it's kind of trippy, right? We're gonna fall. Bop. That's good. And look out at the land. Remember back in the day, they would pull up in their horses. Not their car or their Ferrari. They're pulling up in horses and their carriages. Urban Explorer videos, there might even be paintings that were up here at one point, or maybe these were all filled with things. I don't actually know. Um, we're here kind of late. I, I took four years off exploring France to explore Japan a lot, other parts of the world, and that's the thing about urban exploring. It, it, and it's just, it's not that it's like competitive, though people, th people treat it like it's competitive, but you gotta get to these places fast or first because you're gonna be the first ones to see it and it's natural, almost habitat as a time capsule. Yeah. I wanna take you to a room, but I don't know if you wanna follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah, sure. I'm, I've been trying to find the, the library. Is that what you're gonna take me into? Well, it is like a library, but it's a beautiful room. Okay. Well, this room's dope, like the so, wallpaper in blue. So when I first came, it was completely set up, all the set up. But it's been, it looks like they're kind of trying to protect some of the furniture maybe now. Or they're trying to like undo whatever was done so Urban Explorers wouldn't take the photos. Maybe. All right, I'm gonna go through real quick though. I'm just looking at the, all the paintings. Look at that blue painting. And definitely went along with the blue wallpaper in this room. Dude, look at behind here. Look at that furniture, man. Dang, that's like some fable furniture. We used to hide things as well. Oh, Dang, this is epic. Things. Epic, epic. I want this. This is a nice piece. Yeah. Wait, what they hide on the floor? I'm not saying the way it's just hide everything up in the plug sockets. That's electricity plug? Yeah. Dang. Oh, Dave just pointed out the clock tower right there. Oh my god. We gotta get up there. Dang, look at this. We're in the, we're definitely in a tower. Yeah. We're in the tower on this side, but it's all black and white. This is sick. Dude, I love that bathtub. Alright, I'm going. When you finish in here, take the door there and look at the bedroom in that room. But, yeah, go this way. Alright, I'm coming. Resident Evil style. Yo, my god, this is the room I was looking for. Yeah, the library. Dang, so this is where they were building the dresses. And there's a mannequin there, you see next to the sofa there. Where? Yeah. This is the best room. Yeah, thanks, bro. This is absolutely epic. This is maybe the... Most likely, this is the best room in the whole in the whole place. I mean, look at this. Completely untouched. Frozen in time. Guys, right now, we are literally taking you back into the past right now with all this. Like, that's how you know this is legit. The old sewing machines. 
I mean, there's still fabric on the table right here. <laughs> it's legit. <laughs> I mean, even this. Absolutely insane. So that's Dave. You know, you might have been seeing him on the France trip. Uh, we've been exploring for the last like four or five years. Um, I first met him back in the UK in Kent. He took me to some forts years ago, if you watch those videos. We, we, we've been doing this for like seven, eight years. And if you're new here, thanks for watching. Um, we just go and we just try to find old ancient places or ruins, castles, you know, rumored that this is abandoned, but we don't know. And, and just anything cool that's been forgotten about or abandoned. And we just try to document it put pieces together, find the history online, take amazing photos. I think I think uh, going to places that are still preserved, that's it's like walking in a museum, but you're not paying for it. You're in it. You're in the museum. There's no one watching over you. Anything could happen. It's the adventure, the rush, the thrill. And it's just amazing. And, and this is a good example of it. There's always something about like abandoned mannequins that are cool or freaks me out. But this one, I don't even think this is a mannequin. This is like a formation of a mannequin, just the body. But this is to put the dresses on. We're gonna keep on moving now. I, I mean, I think we have a lot to go. We gotta get to the clock tower. We still have to get up there. I don't even know how to get up there. And this is the second floor. We haven't even seen the second floor yet or the third floor. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Oh, empty. All right, I'm gonna try to get to the clock tower. Hopefully this doesn't break on me. Oh, these stairs feel like they wanna break. Jeez. A lot of this doesn't really interest me because there's, well, there's nothing really here. <laughs> but you know what's awesome? Is like, if you've seen this place in the US, everyone's gonna freak out like Urban Explorers. And it's like, you're not gonna see this in the US. It's massive, it's this, it's that, it's really rare. Okay, so this is where a lot of damage is in the house but probably also where the clock tower is. We're at the very top now. Wow. You know, there might not be that much here, but you can really, uh, you can really see that. It's been in pristine condition though. Feels like no one been up here in ages. Oh, whoa. Honestly, really cool. Tons of tons of books up in the clock tower. Oh, all right, maybe not the clock tower, but the tower. And we're in it right now. Although I do assume the clock tower would be up again on a different floor. It even be, it might even be another section in this. Uh, but we explored this area. I think we have to go back down just to get to another area. But what's this way? So many twists and turns. In so little time. Hopefully Dave don't try to scare me again. Massive amounts of picture frames. Whoa. That's a big one. You can tell by looking at some of the stuff here that this, this place did go abandoned in 2003. Maybe we'll go up here. Black mold. There's a lot here, it seems. Now we're just hitting a lot of different rooms. Wow, that's a lot of mold, jeez. They peeped the train though. And, and that's the thing about Chateau, is you're just gonna go a ton of different rooms. You're gonna be filled with just different bedrooms mostly. This, that might take us to the clock tower. This is not matching the rest of the house.
I don't know. Can't okay, look at this. All old. Oh, bell tower, baby. Maybe? I mean, clock tower? No. Nothing. I think I see some horses and don. I see a donkey. Shout out to the donkey. Thumbs up for the donkey, everybody. Oh, I, I do like this room. Because the wallpaper is cool. I do like that. But nothing else is really going on. What is with them and ducks? They had a lot of ducks. <laughs> I've seen like a few ducks inside this place. Wait, is this the bell tower? Hang on. I just rang the bell. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. I just rang the bell. I hope we're okay. Just gonna pretend I did not do that. Dave's gonna be like, yo, who rang the bell? I just rang the bell. Oh, I think I hear him downstairs coming. Don't know. Some of the rooms are untouched, but a lot of the rooms are also locked. That's just how it is, see? And we're not gonna bust them. We're not gonna do anything. If they're locked, they're locked. If we miss out on some of the coolest things, then we miss out. But then you walk into other rooms and it's half set up with some cool wallpaper. And you can see what they were trying to do here. Some really cool setups could have been done. I love this. The old newspaper. The articles. And then if you go to this room, look at the difference. This room's all set up nice, and the wallpaper's amazing. It's not like strawberries. I think that's like red strawberries. My favorite room so far for wallpapers have been blue and red. Oh yeah, look at this. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Some, obviously it's a crate, but like what were they storing in there? Even the fireplace, I almost didn't even look backwards. The marble, the marble red. Great. Just all went, it went really well together, this room, whoever designed it. I generally think we just got done exploring this entire place except finding the clock tower, which I don't think we're gonna find. Wow, look at this, I just wanna look back. Look at their land, if I can just show you, yeah. Damn, beautiful farm fields, just relaxing. You can just look and see it through your window as you're walking the hallways. This is beautiful. Oh, look at this room. This was a kid's room. You can tell. Kid's rooms also always had the smallest room. Doesn't matter how big you were, uh, or I mean how rich you were, the family has always given the kids the smallest rooms so far with all the chateaus I've been in. They like cats. I like cats too. That might do it. It's amazing how it's in, the room is inside the tower. I mean, yo, imagine you're, you're living like a Rapunzel life right now. You're living in the tower of a castle. Dave has found the back of the clock as we were exploring, so he's gonna take me to it. And honestly, Dave said that this used to be his favorite place, but it's not his favorite place anymore. Uh, well, it's still one of my favorites because it's been like the first chateau I hit in France. But okay. The first major one. Well, how many chateaus have you hit in France? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You think like more than 40? How many burgers have I had? <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> we nickname him Burger Dave, but we'll, maybe one day we'll tell you the story and how, but story, yeah, not now. See, I was up here though, but maybe I, see, I must have missed it. I could have sworn it was up here too. Oh yeah, you could just see it. Did you go up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go up there a little bit. That's the clock right there. It's got the other little library there. Yeah. Dang, no one could ever get up there. I did see the little library in the tower formation, yeah. Oh yeah, we were already up here. Dang, so it's right there. Check this out. So right there. If you can see really quick, you can see that there was a clock right there. There was a, a deer head. There was more items. I can barely make it out. But those are all gone. You can't. 
damn, there was one over there. So you can see what I'm saying is like, why we want to be the first to come here. Like this place is massive and it's still amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's every room is amazing. It's great to be here. I mean, the outside's freaking nuts. Not many people can say they even walk these halls or of any place like this. This is beautiful. Even the ceiling and how it all is, it's great. And it, it really is all part of the game and why we have to come first or why we can't tell you guys the places or why we keep everything a secret. People just come and vandalize and break everything. Which room's that? Oh, that's the living room. Wow, you had, wow, you even had um, a lighting in here. Now, yeah, now the, the, the shutters are shut and boarded up. And again, that's because of the vandalism that happened in 2020. Yeah. You really can't beat this place. It's massive. You can see the Renaissance style. You can see the, the, the pointy towers. They look amazing. And you got the, the freaking uh, clock tower right there. I mean, the thing is, like, where else do you put a big chateau like this uh, that looks like Hogwarts? Just smack dab in the middle of this amazing <laughs> open like, field. Like the thing I like about this one is, like, it's a different architecture I haven't seen from the other ones. Because usually we would see just this half. See? But they added, they added, they made it longer. And they had these two pointy towers here, and they had the archway that you would go through. Well, we're out of here, dude. Just staring at it. Looks good. We did it. Um, Hi. yeah, it was another one for the books. Yeah, guys in the comments below. What does this place remind you of? I was saying Hogwarts just because of how massive it is the arches the towers the Renaissance look That's what I was thinking. I just can't get over the driveway It's like they specifically planted the I think they did planted these trees here It would have been you imagine they would have all been cut fresh as well They had them all planted here just to make us Anyways, like I said, we're already done this video. Peace